Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Now this is going to be hopefully the final of the uh, Unified Scale Auto Content Creators 2023 group build. Um, it's about half past three here on Sunday afternoon. Um, so I'm right up to the wire but I've been desperately not wanting to be late for this one. I think I was about three days late or a couple of days late on on last year's um I was a bit late in, so, but, um, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping I've done enough now. I've worked long enough hours on this to, to finally get it all together now. I do want to apologise for I've not been um, on YouTube for the last couple of weeks or so. I've not even watched much of YouTube. I've, been, I've not watched much telly at all, to be quite honest, because every spare hour has been put into this thing. Um, have no idea what's going on today. You know, I don't know who's got videos out. Um, you know, who hasn't, so to speak. But you know, I think we got probably we got about another hour and a half building of this thing. But as always, we we're gonna do a pre-assembly, and like I say, it's it's been two weeks since the last update, and as you can see, we've we've done a lot more um, to get this thing to the point where I'm at least happy with it. Um, and this, this video might be a bit longer than, than some others, just because cause we have done so much more, you know, I will, I'll, I'll try and quick, keep it quick as possible, but yeah, we'll do a quick round robin of what we've done. I think we left off, um, we just finished roughing up the tailgate and everything in there. And then we just, made a little bit of a start on the on the chassis where we put the uh cross member of the orange hauler on there so we could have that working steering which we uh which i really wanted from the get-go you know i think my whole idea with this thing is to build it i mean this is a, a 70s monogram tool and I, I wanted to almost backdate it if um if monogram had, had, had produced this kit of this custom so to speak and in the 60s just like the like like the little coffin and little coffin and um you know all the others which which came out around that time so but um yeah i mean i think we left off i think the last thing we looked at um in the last video i've just put the cross member in the front um and it is getting a bit dark here so apologies for the light but we'll do what we can to to um to point these things out but yeah i think i just started on the cross member um and done pretty much nothing else but um yeah so when i started really getting into this chassis first thing i noticed is i, I put the cross member far too low um the, you couldn't even see the tops of the what the white walls in the in the fender so to speak so um we had to cut all that off again start again from scratch unfortunately but you know we got it all boxed in so you know everything's looking neat and tidy under there um all this is structurally sound with like say we've put sheet styrene all around all around the joints we put the, the front of the old frame the old ford frame on the front just to say it wasn't all stumpy at the front um obviously got the the steering working and everything and i must say this this steering has been an absolute pleasure to work with i've had this on and off so many times you wouldn't believe but they flex down so well it's, it's just made life so easy mocking all this up so you know that, that was a real credit to monogram the way they engineer this so they do flex but um yeah the, the other thing about this chassis the first thing i noticed when i pulled it out of the box is that I, the first thing i wanted to do was chop this um this gas tank off here. I thought it just looked like a big Lego brick stuck to the side, but then when I got looking at it, I thought all it needed was a couple of strips of um, evergreen round there just to 
to make it look like uh, tank straps on there. And I think that made all the difference with that. And then we just finished that off with, um, with a bit of gold paint. And then we just went over with the um, Revel Chrome paint. I just sprayed some into the top of the can like. And uh, rear suspension. Now this is pretty much all, all orange hauler. But we've we've kind of moved quite a lot around on this. Um, you know, this is a example of the original unit. Um, I've used the, the torsion or the torsion arms. I can't I can't even think what they're, they're called now. Um, traction bars or whatever. So we did use these parts, but yeah, on this one we we really shaved them down a lot. Um, I mean, there will be. I have taken as many pictures as I could. Maybe not in the last 24 hours. I've, I've just really wanted to crack on. But if you stay till the end of the video, there will be a, a lot of build. Um, a lot of build pictures at the end of the video. Um, but then we started use, utilising some of the other bits like these mounts here. Uh, which are on the orange hauler. You know, we utilise them to to make little hangers or for the for the traction bars and then we just created some I mean it's really hard to see uh, with it being all gloss black here but yeah I made just handmade some on the inside uh, the shocks from the orange hauler they just uh, sorry the suspension um, spring sorry they just went into the the Ford location pins absolutely fine uh, the shock mounts to learn what do we use oh yeah we cut these bits off um off the orange hauler chassis we just stuck them stuck them to the back of the frame there um the shock mounts uh you know i don't think there was a i mean this is what's left of it and we i think they're the only tabs that i didn't cut off i, I just i wanted to use them i was trying desperately to find somewhere to use them but I couldn't say, uh, but we'll we'll won't throw that away. That'll come in handy for another day, like. Um, but yeah, I just wanted a really clean look. So I, I went with gloss black, straight gloss black, black really really clean. Um, I think the original truck had a, a chrome rear axle. So after I sprayed it black, I just again uh, decanted some of the Revel chrome paints and. Just brushed it all on there, went over the springs as well, like so uh, you know that I think they're looking all right now to be quite honest with you, but um and I just did the same. I didn't want too much chrome underneath. One thing is because even though I've, I've, I bought one of them dehydrators and I baked this to, to buggery like um you still don't really want to touch it much, so uh, you know, I've just wanted bare minimum, but tried to tie the rear axle in with the with the front axle. So we just did the lower eight arms in the in the chrome paint as well. And um, as you can see, the steering's all working as it should do. I mean, it's not going to be connected to the steering wheel or anything. But and I think that's about that's about it really. To be quite fair, um, engine wise, you know, I probably spent an hour. Spent an hour looking through the parts box trying to find a suitable engine, but you know, even though I've got hundreds of engines, there weren't many 124 scale ones, and the ones I had were kind of monogram and what have you. And then I'm, I'm thinking because we didn't, we didn't, we didn't cut the the engine mounts out of this chassis. You know, we we boxed them all in and everything. We've used, we've used um, sheet styrene to to box everything in and give the give it structure there but you know what i'm not big on engines this this car this model is never going to be displayed without the, the hood on you know it needs the hood on for the looks uh i just used the kit kit engine um looked at the pictures of the real car and picked picked out some race you know speed equipment for early speed equipment to sort of tight it up a little bit and basic engine wiring just um wired the distributor i mean all all top end just parts box bits and 
just what I thought were fitting and kind of looks like what was in the original truck and this is um, yeah I don't know if um, you've watched any of the previous videos but we aren't we're, we're trying to recreate the original truck and not not the restored truck I mean I wanted it as it was kind of in in its early days and uh, opposed to the probably the hundred thousand dollar restoration where they changed quite a lot I mean it would have been easier to do the newer one because there wasn't so much interior detail um a lot more simplistic sort of design inside and with the bed cover but and i think finally for the chassis you know i i, I couldn't not after doing all this work i couldn't not do the wheels gold it it, it would have annoyed me more to to leave the wheels chrome reverse and what have you um and yeah I, even though you know the reason why i didn't want to you know i mean I, I poached them wheels out of the kit which i've not wanted to sell it was a terrible kit it was the monogram um beach boys issue 32 ford with the really quirky roof and what have you but me dad had me dad i bought one of them when i it was one of the earliest kits i bought um and my dad started building it for me and I, I don't know what happens to that model to be quite honest with you and i always wanted to recreate that model um he hadn't finished it but you know you could you could see the direction he was going so and it pained me to to take them chrome reverse wheels out of there i mean you guys in the states where you can pick up them 32 ford roadsters where they continue to use them chrome reverse wheels you know I'd, I pick up twelve, a dozen of them just for the wheels for that price, you know, because they are my favourite monogram wheel. But I'm re I'm really happy I went with down that road road now. I just um, yeah, I painted the centre silver, um, painted the centre silver. Set, found some suitable moon caps in the in the parts box, and the the wheels are original um, monogram sixties wheels and uh, tires sorry the tires and mon original monogram sixes i think these are off a 44 um pickup but you get the same in the the early 55 chevys and things like that so so that's about the chassis um and like i said this is going to be a long video apologies guys but you know i don't because we haven't i've tried really hard throughout this um build to try and show you what i'm doing and i felt i felt really bad but i just couldn't do that this in this last two weeks it it, it would have meant the difference between me finishing or not finishing it it's simple as that one video would have completely completely knocked me off track and i, I needed every single hour i could on this one and but yeah we'll move on to the bed i think yeah we were working on the bed last time um we got it pretty much roughed up you know we had no filler in it um after that last video i said i'd re rotated the fenders which it really did need um the way mon like I say the way monogram has them because they do slope down at the back but if you build it from the box like monogram it almost looks like they're falling off the back of the back of the bed i think so because i rotated them as little as i could just so they were tight up against the running boards they were a little bit higher i thought so i did go in and I, I put a big chunk of quite a thick piece of sheet styrene at the bottom of the fenders and we just extended them down a bit it gave us a better better angle for the bob as well on the fenders as it goes into the into the custom rear balance um the other thing we did um I, I had made these uh running board tread plates um all individual pieces in the last video but i, I was originally going to stick them on top of the stick them on top of what monogram had uh, engraved on the on the tool but they were just i, I I was looking at the pictures and I was like, they're just gonna they're gonna look terrible. So I then had to go in and sand off all the all the detail, all monograms detail, just to 
just to get um, these at the right height once I thought I'd build it I thought they'd look a lot better like that and yeah we painted those um, scratch built tread plates up and laid them down I mean I've, I've used double sided tape so much in this build it's been I bought this from a, a shop we in the UK here we have um, a shop called Home Bargains and it's one of those shops you, you walk into and you what you're picking up stuff and you're never going to use it you know you're never going to use it but you still buy it it's just it's it's one of those places but they, you got a big roll of this for like 69p and it's this stuff here is as good as um 3m refix tape you know it's not double-sided tape as such it's it's actually refix tape well it is double-sided tape but it's not it's not thick spongy stuff it's literally it's it's like see-through paper so to speak it's so thin and 3m charges i think it's about 35 quid a box of four little rolls and they're 69p and i have used that so much on this project it's been unbelievable i mean i was going to originally put them on with um with mod podge or something but i just knew it was going to be messy so i just laid them all out um on the double-sided tape or the the refix tape and um they just went down so much easier i mean it was still a half an hour job or something but we got it done in and um yeah rear end uh we got all that filled out and leveled out uh i think after that I, I did have to do a bit more work i think there were there was just something not looking right so i did lower the, the tail lights a little bit more and even them out a little bit but you know we got we got all that in place like and um the other thing is i have today even though i i, I was so i'm so burnt out today like but i i knew i needed number plates on it and i could have just picked some out of the parts box but we have made the, the proper license plates um, for the truck. Uh, I've got these Warbird thing. I don't even know if they make these or Warbird's still about. I'm really not sure. And they are Cali plates. Uh, they're the, kind of the wrong state. But I'd rather have the wrong state than the, the wrong number plate, as, especially as we've gone to all this trouble. Like, so we did we did um, do a couple of uh, Cali plates for it, period Cali plates. And... I did, you probably you never see it in a million years, but I chose January just to mark the end of the group build. Um, yeah, we uh, the rear lights we used from the AMT 64 Mercury Marauder. Uh, the, the, you get two sets in there, a smaller set, which we use for the, for the front balance and the larger set, and really had to sand them down to again an inch of the life to fit in there they're not glued or anything as soon as they they went into place that's where they stayed so we got all that in um well so yeah i mean we, we just painted the underside i didn't I, I, it would have been too much uh white underneath once i paint I, I wanted to eliminate as much white as possible to be quite as yeah, it just wouldn't have looked right at all to me so i did tape that off and just give it a satin black as well uh what else have we done oh yeah we did end up using all the custom panels i cut out um you know once i painted it white i did trial them on and i think what steered me away ultimately from painting the, the candy red was um you know, when you're gluing all this stuff together, no matter how neat you try and be and what have you, it would never be as neat as I've got it with these custom panels. And I, I, I think that's how it is on the real truck. I think all the side panels, the tailgate panels are actually uh, steel cutouts, which they've put in. And so we originally first started off by doing the top one. And then I think in the last one, I decided last video i decided we we're going to use the off cuts to to make it a fender um covers as well because i think that was how it was on the real truck and it you know it, 
it just gives the, the better continuous flow all the way through. But yeah, I mean, um, really happy with, honestly, I'm so happy with, I've, I've mocked it. I mean, the thing is with the way I've built this is, it's been an absolute pleasure to mock up. And it's only been in the last 24 hours after that I finally started seeing that things are going to work. I was it, I was getting to the point where I'm doing all this work and thinking, you know, about, am I just wasting my time? Is it all going to work together? But I think with what we've created here, I think once we've got it all together, it's going to look pretty nice. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, that, that's pretty much it for, for the for the bed um obviously as you can see we've we have upholstered some we've we haven't upholstered other bits but um yeah we've we done the bed liner i think we made this in the last thing last uh video uh mocked it all up and but we just i, I found the color fabric i mean the the pictures of the old there's not many pictures of the old truck online and um you know, I think uh, it took me a long time to find the right colour. I chose it, it. I found it right at the last minute. Um, some fab, some raspberry is called raspberry fabrics. Uh, did all that. Uh, bought all that and put put that in the back of this um this bed liner here. Uh, upholstered the rest in in white leather. Uh, we we haven't upholstered any interior in white leather or anything, but you know that that's just ready to to go in. I'm not going to glue it. In fact, we might as well just see if it'll slot down now, and we can get. So we're building models there as we as we're talking, but that that's in now. It's it's not going to move, and um, but I'm really happy with the the bed liner. We also upholstered the uh, the bed cover in in white leather uh use some of the just i just took a strip of these uh these are one mil i've pretty much used all one mil uh gemstones on well the small pearls and gemstones whatever you call them but they just sell for these things uh yeah we uh we we just painted some of them red um stuck them in the once because I used double sided tape for the leather and the reason I didn't do the leather on the interior is the, the pearl white leather I bought it had this right furry backing on it and it took for an, an age just to get some of it off without tearing the leather so and I did trial some in here and it just would have made the interior look worse so I'm not going to do stuff if it's not going to make anything look better so yeah we got all that upholstered and uh once I'd used a double sided tape to stick it all down, I just got the hair dryer and just shrunk it a little bit so it shrank around the uh, ribs I'd put in underneath. But yeah, that's all pretty much ready to go. Just sits on top of there quite nicely, like. So. And this, uh, guys, this is going to be a long video. I'm reckoning probably an over an hour, so. Yeah, if you if you want to see what we've done, then then continue watching. If you if you want to see the end products, then we're obviously gonna put this together after this and and film another clip. So, uh, um, but yeah, it, it's entirely up to you guys. But I, I, for the people who are interested and who have followed the build all the way through, I thought it'd be wrong to to see all, all this working. But yeah, we'd we'd. Carpeted the we use the same fabric raspberry fabric to to carpet the interior um I nearly flocked it but I just wanted everything matching and uh, the one other thing we've done is uh on the original kit it looks like somebody's made like a plywood uh transmission tunnel it looked terrible but I didn't want to cut all that out, so we did. We spent a bit of time, and we just rounded it out, and it it made up difference to that transmission tunnel from making it look like a reject from the night is to something more fitting. Uh, even though it's still too big for original truck, like. Um, but yeah, we used the seat we found. Um, 
everything, all the interior panels have been painted pearl white. And then we use styrene strip, uh, sheet, uh, evergreen, sorry, styrene, just to to make our patterns on the on the seats and the the, the thing about the early truck is there's not many pictures and I could not find a picture of the the whole seat couldn't see the seat back at all and I know I've got the pattern somewhat wrong because this like the only real view you could see was there was a white divide in here but I thought I'd just come up with my own little design on this I wanted to keep the flavor of it with um the white buttons and and what have you but yeah I, I just wanted to create something simple and more I, I thought it just fit in with everything else else I built so but I was really pleased with the seat you know we used I don't know what seat it was from but after I, after I found I wasn't going to upholster the, the white part I decided I'd just sanded the knackers off it and got it all flush and then and then we uh started laying everything in and to be quite honest I, I was going to pad them out I bought these are from another cheapo shop in in the UK I got about 100 of these foam faces for about I think it was about a quid or something months ago always with the intention that they're, they're quite thin and they might work well for for upholstery but and so I started I, I, they, they just work really well for pressing and getting the templates for these to be quite honest I mean like I said I originally started pressing them against all this this uh, styrene work to, to cut into place and add a bit of padding but because we weren't doing anything with the white bit I think it would have been, looked a bit daft a bit too too high like so but then I found these are absolutely invaluable I, I've used them for carpet templates you know you can just go in there with the with these and you know you could pretty much get a good time I mean I'm not going to do the full thing but you, you get the gist of the idea and that's how all the carpet was done you know the carpet's three pieces a tunnel um a tunnel and two side bits so but I've been using these so much. I mean, I've been using these in this project on the last few days for laying down all my panels to polish them, all my glass to polish them. Um, I've had the, you know, I've had these out so much. I mean, I've only used a couple of them, like, but they've been absolutely brilliant. Them things, like, you know, best quid I've ever spent. So, um, but yeah, I mean, we we used the. Uh, the stock steering column, we just found the parts box um, steering wheel. So, yeah, that, that's about pretty much it. I am very conscious at time, guys, but, you know, it, there's, there's quite a lot. So, yeah, we did the same with the headliner. Um, I was never going to get it 100%. It's a model kit. You know, there's only so much you can do in scale, but I just wanted to capture the general design. So... Yeah, we both the uh, headliner and the, the door panels, you know, we've we've used uh evergreen half round again, some at larger size just to to create some some pleated panels there and you know, just did a I didn't go overboard to be quite honest, you know, this is as far as I'm gonna go. You it's really hard to see any of that inside that cab like with the roof chop and everything. But uh, yeah, we just on the real truck. It had some like dial window wipers, uh, window uh, winders. So we just used again these things, and you know, for the for the buttons, we use these one mil pearls or something. I mean, I think you know, I probably spent maximum about fifteen quid on fabrics, leather. Because I've just been buying samples for the fabrics and, you know, we've been buying things like this, you know, and it, it's not much for a build. Plus, I've got tons more to use if I want want to use them on other builds. Like, but I'm, I'm really pleased with interior. Like, I think um, it was a really nice fabric I got for that. It has like a, an almost motley effect to it. And it was, 
like I say, I've, I've looked at so many fabric samples online and in, I've never been into haberdashery stores more, more than I have now, but I found these on a, a sample online. It was about two quid for shipped to me door, like so. But yeah, they're all done. Um, cab. Uh, one thing I nearly, nearly forgot about was vent wind, uh, the side vent windows, corner windows. Um, so he had to scratch build these, and he needs to just scratch build out of again evergreen strip. And if you if you want to see roughly how I did it, you just look at the pictures at the end. But yeah, we we made a template by putting something behind the window open, and then started laying a couple of sheets of evergreen down underneath it. And now these. Uh, just slide into place perfectly. I, I, I wanted to avoid the look of a root light, a model kit being having its roof chops. Uh, I've, I've been doing absolutely everything to to have some things with no joints in and stuff like that. But they they fit perfect, and I nearly I nearly just went down from the the corner as you, you'd think they would go, and then I looked at the pictures and I saw that they'd set them really far back and I thought it looked a bit odd at first but I don't know I thought it was a really obviously a really smart move for a for a roof chop because you got a lower a lower roof line and by putting the pillar down at the at the corner there you, you're causing yourself a blind spot so um I think that's why they probably did that but yeah both of them fit absolutely perfect you know They've just got the edge on the side. Sorry to to just I can just put a bit of Mod Podge around there, and that's what all I'm gonna do. Just put a bit of Mod Podge, glue them in. Bodywork, you know, I mean, we'd we'd finish pretty much finished the body. Um, the first, uh, all we've done really is paint it. You know, we we scratch built. Uh, we well, we just cut the the glass out of out of a uh, clear plastic uh rear rear glass is the the kit glass obviously we put the glass in them out of clear clear plastic stock and interior i mean like say you're just never going to see in here but yeah we, we just used the the kit provided um decal i mean we just cut it out of the, the sheet and I, I don't like to use these things as decals so i just cut it out Put the glass in and cut the uh, existing buttons off the dash and just used again more of the more of these things just to use as little buttons and you know these are absolutely next to nothing you know like literally next to nothing about a quid fifty or something shipped to your door from and I'm sure you can get them anywhere in the world I mean I'm sure these I mean I think these are from a UK seller but I'm sure most of them come from china or something but yeah i mean the, this is until this morning i've not pol polished this and i've handled it so much all i've seen this throughout the whole build even though it's been in pain is it full of fingerprints i've, I've dulled it all down the bit stuck to the body but i knew i was going to handle it so much for it was pointless. I've never seen it shiny before this morning, so, and I've only hand polished it. You know, there was no dirt in the paint or anything. So, and the reason why I was one hoping to get it done in more daylight hours is that the white's very white in in daylight. Um, just before I go off this clip, I'll I'll uh, quickly show you which paints I use. But yeah, we got all that detailed up. Um, you thankfully the only bit of chrome foiling i had to do this morning i mean it's the first model i've done on youtube where i put foil over the top but i did that because i knew i wanted to all the black window trims have been uh masked off with uh tamiya tape because i wanted a really nice clean line over there so but yeah that we we chromed all our scratch bill um gutter rails uh rain channel so to speak and just plated the, the firewall black 
uh, not firewall, the, the core support black and one detail I really didn't want to miss. I think it, even though this is going to be covered up by the grill, um, was there was the the red stripe on the on the front. Um, it should actually go up as under under the headlamps as a headlamp support. But they were the kind of details I just couldn't do in scale. I, I spent so much time getting that grill perfect for. Uh, to fit anything more now, it, it it was just beyond me. I just couldn't get them two little, two little uh, loops down there. But I think everything else we got, we got okay. And I'm really glad I did that. Now I nearly didn't. I nearly didn't because of time. But it was a little detail for me. Without without it, it wouldn't have been the truck I'm trying to sort of recreate. Uh, we got the other fifty eight. Um, impale the lights in in the in the front um those just pushed in nicely underneath like so uh, needed nothing else i did give them a little bit more of a sand uh just for paint build up but yeah we got the the license plate on the front as well like so uh, really play i mean i could have like say i could have had this done sooner today but I don't want to revisit this one. I don't want to revisit it like I had to revisit the the satellite a couple of days after I was even late with that to adjust a few things. Uh, but yeah, there's that. We've obviously just painted the hood, polished the hood, just painted underneath black. Um, found some the best fitting uh, side pipes to go under the running boards. Um, set them in place underneath the running board so to speak and then um these parts here are and then weird uh weird headers out of the double whammy kit you know i've had them in my parts box they look like strings of spaghetti absolutely terrible looking things but they actually work well to once i had that in place i could sort of cut them and shape them so we got a matching pair of those all ready to go obviously we just got stuff like radiator and then we got the grill i mean this is the main grill shell was the part i'm really most proud of how we got that fitting in it i mean it's not going to be glued or anything just found some headlamps in the parts box as well and just pop those in now we did make a, a grill insert for this um and this is where scale came into into play like i mean the the grill bar the original car should have three runs of of these uh of the insert so to speak but it, believe it or not trying to find 124 scale highly modified draw handles with Pearl insets are uh, really hard to come by. So, and I, I started trying to scratch build them, and they were, it was just too small. It, it, I couldn't, I couldn't get anything to look good. Um, with with the size which you, you really need to get them down to. So, I had loads of these. Uh, 50, I think these were out of the AMT fifty seven Chevy kit, um, custom grill for the for the custom roll pan in that one. So we, uh, yeah, we, we, I decided to scrap what I was doing right off the hour and a half I'd wasted trying to make my own things. And we just sanded these right down on the back. And I mean, these are small enough, but I probably half the height of these as well, just to get, to even get two lines in there. Cut them all apart, individual parts. There's, I think there's nine on the top and eight on the bottom. Um, there should have been another row of seven underneath it, but not a chance, mate. Um, so, as you can imagine, even dealing with them all cut down, absolute nightmare to work with. So, I'm afraid that's, that's they're the kind of things i've just had to forgive myself with this i don't think we're going to lose the look of the truck just for that so and i've done my very best with this one so 
And I think that's about it, to be quite fair. Um, yeah, now it's a case of me cracking on for the next... It's going to probably take me about another hour to the point I'm happy um, doing this. And, you know, we've been yakking on for 40 minutes. Uh, again, this is going to be a long video. We're going to probably have another 20 minutes or so and then probably another 5, 10 minutes of pictures at the end or something. So, so with that, it's getting late. I'm getting really tired. Um, I just, I'm going to get this thing popped together for the last time. Not seeing it with the grilling at all. I've not seen it with certain details on it. So uh, you, you'll be seeing it for the first time altogether as I will be. And let, let's hope it's it's been worth all the extra effort we put into it. So uh, with that said, we'll see you in a second. Right then, well, I'm not sure if this is the moment you've been waiting for, but it's definitely been the moment I've been waiting for just to see this thing done. It's about six o'clock Sunday evening. Um, don't know how that translates into US time. Can't remember whether you're behind or before or in front of us. I have no idea. Uh, my head's not working at the moment. So, but it's still Sunday here, so we, we're still meeting the deadline. Um, last couple of hours being a bit sketchy. Um, all my stuff fits together lovely. Uh, I had a few problems with the kit radiator. Never even checked that before, but it was fouling against the fan. And there was other few bits and pieces. And worst bit was when... Um, I stuck my finger to the side of the body uh, with super glue. So, as you can imagine, I was not best pleased at the time, but managed to quickly get it get it running under warm tap, scraped most of it off, got a little bit of 1200 grit, and managed just to sand the rest off it without breaking through the clear and going through to that pearl base coat and ruining the whole thing. So... After my prayers to God uh, were answered, or I'd sold my soul, soul to the, the devil, uh, either or, you know, we've managed to get this thing finished finally. Um, I must admit, I am so pleased with this thing. Um, I always wanted something to, to match last year's, the satellite. I mean, the satellite was a very different build, still quite... Still quite... Um, Quite a big task was that satellite, but in comparison to this, this looks this looks more stock, but it has been a ton of work, an immense amount of work to get this thing finished and finished to the standard which I, I really wanted to do. I, I wanted to build this, uh, recreate this uh, car since my dad showed me in a showed me pictures in a ratty old rod and custom when i was probably six or seven years old i remember magazine didn't even have a cover on it but he, he showed me the mountain pearl and i know he like loves that truck and i've, I've grown a fondness of it i've tried the project before and i must admit i mean i'd if matthew chose the amt kit I think everybody would have been really happy and I think there was all a bit of a hoo-ha about another 124th kit but I don't think I would have got an AMC kit this nice. I think this, the 24th scale has really lent itself. I mean, I struggled with some of the small details on this thing and, and, we, and to follow the period sort of 60s monogram sort of theme I wanted to really try and capture with this build I think it just adds something completely different so I, I would be more than happy that if this USACC I know I'll be going against a lot of people but if, if we end up building a 124th kit once a year or we end up a, being able to create something different from a quite a basic kit then I, I would be more than happy with that because all all tears aside and blood sweat whatever time immense amount of time this thing has taken to do 
just got to figure out how to hold this thing without damaging anything that um which is pretty difficult to be quite honest with you right your glue's still setting at the moment i know i've got a chrome rear axle underneath there and try not to touch my side pipes which are still still gluing but you know we can still see quite a lot i mean you can't really pick it up on camera but on the car you know we can we can still see all the the nice upholstery work in there and you know i think i'm just going to take this bed off bed cover off for a second but yeah i mean always from the get-go wanted the steering um on it i'm so pleased i kept the uh the red stripe um i went and painted the red stripe with a with a black inset um because for me that that was a a bit of a signature piece of this of the mountain pearl i think uh well the finish turned out nice to be quite honest after a bit of not much polishing i mean don't get me wrong this last hour where I've, I've nearly ruined my own paint job and this video wouldn't be going out um today i would have had to work all through the night repaint the body and try and try my very best to get it out by tomorrow but in all fairness i just couldn't spare any more time on this i've, I've got so much work to do uh this week that i need this thing done but i think um I think, like I say, it's, it, with it being a pickup, it's really hard to hold. But you know, I'm really happy with rear end. You know, you can see Otto Rhodes' is uh, inspiration from Alicart, which came out the year before or something on the show scene. And I think his inspiration for for the front end was the Barris Wildcat truck. But you know, I'm really happy with the. With the candy paint i used i mean i will i've, I've not gone to hand to be quite honest but they were just uh called custom colors off ebay in, in the uk just aerosols and i've been i've been a bit fooled by them before um because they're generally just sort of manufacturer colors and they, they market them as, as candies but this one actually did for a for somebody who doesn't like to use an airbrush very often if at all um you know i think i think the colors really suit and and the way it all went together with them panels on now i was just really happy with that but yeah i think um i don't think i could have I've, done a better job i mean i know i've had to make some concessions with the, the scale scaling things down you just can't get everything absolutely perfect on these things i mean i think time wise the only thing i really didn't do is i was i've got some um the the firewall's a bit sparse so i was going to put some bits and pieces on there but in all fairness I don't think I'm going to bother, you know, like I said, it's going to be, I'm, I very much doubt this, this model will ever be displayed or, or looked at um, without the hood on, I think, like I say, the hood's an integ integral piece to it, but, you know, bed, bed liner came out good as well, um, pleased I went ahead and did that, and it was, it was nice to, because I used, I, I robbed this out of the original project um, I did from started on the amt years ago uh so it's nice to get a bit of that still in into this project still and but yeah i mean like i said i don't think i could have done any better and i'm, I'm really hoping that you know people like it um it's it's been the only build on the channel for the for the last few months really last two and a half months i've been on this maybe three months now I think it was mid to late October after I finished that Starsky and Hutch car that I did this and then life again just got in the way. So, and it has been a lot of work. This um, I don't think I could have done this any quicker whether my life was busy or not. But I mean, vent windows worked out all right. Um, 
you know they sit in there quite nicely the roof chop looks like uh, looks like it was meant to be there um really happy with the roof chop to be quite honest with you i mean and that's the thing with this thing um it's i've done a lot of firsts for me um and it's all about just trying things and made a lot of mistakes along the right on along the way had to rework a lot of stuff along the way and it's all trial and never ever i've never posted a, a car before and for my first attempt i didn't think that was too bad and that's just using basic cheap materials and bits and pieces and but i think the planning all all works out on this one um we're building it in modular pieces so i could take bits away and and do bits and pieces while other bits and pieces were dry but you know the, the bobbed rear fenders look nice so i'll just drop that off there we'll have a quick look underneath you know rear roll pan works pretty well pretty happy with the the roll bottom of the roll pan and how it all looks and you know kept the kept the chassis very very basic really just tried to capture sort of that monogram spirit with it and what have you but you know again nothing i mean to say it looks pretty basic the amount of work that's gone into that chassis is is, is quite a lot of work put it that way like i mean it was no mean feat to to get that chassis like that but you know like i said in i think in an earlier video you know barring i think what we hadn't used out the original kit are the wheels, the axles, that that horrible tiny rear axle. Um, you know, it'll, it'll look good on a on, on a modern style truck or a modern style build, but on something like this, absolutely no way. So we didn't use wheel size, the, the axles, and the and the bench seat. I think everything else is modified from that ugly box art purple for trucks uh yeah i think and like i said I've, the one thing i didn't want to do is do the satellite last year spend all that time on the satellite and then kind of come in half-hearted with this i mean the usa is so important to me like i mean it's it's we I don't get to car shows, uh, model shows much. There are a, a few little ones in the UK every now and again, but at the moment it's just it's it's, it's a bit out of the question to be quite honest with you. So this is the only time I really get to to show my stuff, and you know I think next next to last year's, I think that makes a uh, makes a uh, pretty good um, pretty good matching. A pretty good pair now because i was so pleased with last year's i mean yeah you know i couldn't be happy with last year's and you know to see it a year later that none of my body work has sank or anything like that and I'm, I'm trying to protect myself against that with my methods i use nowadays and I've seen too many nice builds in the past with sunken body works uh, so yeah i think um for the second year running uh that is my that is my entry um i think by the time i get this video out edit it or when i say edit it's very it, it's it's literally stitching a few bits together like but probably be eight o'clock but but yeah i think uh, before we before we sign off um i'll put it as we do with all of them i'll just put it in light box and the underscale light box which is i always say i'm just ripping cover off there like and we'll have a look at it under under bright light and see because it pearl i mean it, this is a really i mean i, I chose a, a stark white pearl and it does look a bit yellowed now that the sun's gone in and it's, it's night time under fluorescent light so to speak so if you bear with me i know you've been really patient throughout this whole video if you bear me, excuse me, if you bear with me two more minutes or four more minutes, or however long we take in, in next clip, I would really appreciate it and we'll we'll sign this video off. So we will see you in a second. 
Right then guys, well this is going to be the last clip of the video, so if you've stuck around this, this long, I really appreciate you watching. I knew from the get-go it was going to be a long video, just for the amount of work we've had to do in the last couple of weeks to, to meet the deadline and join all the rest of them on there today. You know, like I said, I've been working on this thing since 7 o'clock this morning. It's now nearly 6 o'clock now. Uh, well, it's probably gone 6 o'clock now, to be quiet. I have no idea what time it is. But, yeah, it has been a, a big push to, to get it all done. But I'm glad I wasn't late this year. And I'd like to say that I'm glad to be a part of this USACC group build. It's one of the main catalysts why, why I decided to... that I really wanted to go ahead with with the youtube channel i'd thought about for two three four years or something and it was just finding the right time then discovering then there was never a right time so just to go ahead and do it and try and one year get in on this build and like last year i was lucky enough well mark wasn't lucky enough but i was lucky enough that we got a bit of an extension and it gave me a chance to to duck into it when i thought i was already out of it um but yeah, I mean, it, it's like I say, we always put these things in here just to get them in a bit of a different light and final look at them. Because this is the final time most people will probably see it. Um, you know, this is three, and, three months work, I suppose, uh, into, into an hour video or, you know, you're just seeing the back end of the video now, like, and so... But yeah, I mean, I, I don't... Even though I couldn't get everything absolutely right, I'm still over the moon with this thing. Um, I almost think it turned out better than I thought it would. Uh, it's really hard to tell when you're building these things and to see to see the final picture at the end because you just got bits and pieces everywhere and nothing. You've not really tried to to fit everything together and you can't picture it with all the colours and how it's actually going to turn out and your ideas of doing things like panels and and upholstery and, and what have you, you know, it's, um, and I'll say again, it, it's a lot of this stuff is first time I tried it, so I think that's the, the message there, you know, if you you, 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 you're only going to get better with you if you just try these things and you know, with a, a bit of time and effort, you know, you, you'd, you'd just be able to do this kind of thing. I mean, I'm not saying I'm no craftsman builder or anything or a master builder. I'm, I'm just somebody who likes to, to try and build a nice shelf model. I'm not, not fussed about engine detail too much. I mean, to be quite honest with you, half the time, if I wasn't even doing YouTube, I wouldn't even bother doing even minimal minimal uh, wiring on engines and what have you but yeah like I say I mean I think the overall thing the roof chop um, turned out really nice to the point where you, you almost think that there wasn't a roof chop on it but we've taken a, a good few mil out of there um, the front end by far was the most difficult part of the whole project uh, the most lengthy part uh, I, I had no idea, in all fairness, when I started this, how how tough it was going to be. I mean, this was a a tough one, like, and again, another one I hadn't seen. I, I, well, I can't remember seeing any other built, and I, I can't imagine if anybody else has built um, a replica or recreation of this. But they've done it with a monogram kit because, you know, the go-to is the AMT, but this is... I, I, I think I'm going to build another one of these before I build an AMT kit, put it that way. Um, it just it, Doing these things, it just grows your fondness back of the, the monogram kit and you, you kind of understand why why a monogram kit get may get picked for this, for this group build because it's all about a kit that means something to you and a, a lot of the time that means that, you know, it... it it's from a child on memory and, and let's face it we all started on monogram I, I wasn't even allowed to to buy an amc kit until i've done a few monogram snap kits i think the first one i did uh, was a was a monogram 85 
Dodge Daytona moulded in red. I mean, I don't have any any sentimental sort of thing for that car at all. Like, and but you know, we've we've all built plenty of monogram kits in, in our younger years and what have you. And the the reason why Matthew chose this one was for for different reasons. It was I think the first one he he, he built with his wife. So obviously, a, a, another sort of first kit a first experience sort of thing so so yeah but let, let's um let's just close this video off um thank you ever so much for sticking by um there will be a load of pictures at the end i think what we'll do is we'll just start off with some close-ups of the back of the final build and then i'll just include whatever pictures i remember to take as as i was scurrying along and trying to get this thing finished over the last two weeks uh there'll be some build pictures after that and then and then you'll probably be half asleep or asleep already like but i think that's probably what i'm gonna do so i think uh, i've had a lot of late nights on on this over the last week just to get to get it to this point so I think i'll try and watch a few i mean i've, I've got to watch some video i mean i've not seen anything on youtube so like i say i've no idea what's out there what's I'm, I'm, there's definitely a, a fair few that i'm really looking forward to seeing finished and seeing what uh the great builders out there have done with this kit but but yeah i mean um lastly thanks for all the support over the year um with this one especially uh, uh, all the encouragement i've been getting off there uh, you know the, the viewers and, and other people within the community to keep on keeping on as tim has said and they're uh, the words that i've remembered throughout this uh yeah so here we are so yeah once again thanks ever so much for your patience we're going to close this video down and it'll probably be another week until i get anything else on on youtube i, I think i need a bit of a break after this one so but we'll we'll carry on with the um we're looking through the old builder stash i think next and then we'll, we'll have sean's group build in a couple of weeks uh we'll we'll soon be back building again um so until then have a great great evening um i think this will be out about nine o'clock so your evening is probably nearly over as in as in the last day is the, the day to get this completed so so with that we'll see you in the next one See you, bye.